In this tutorial, we're going to learn about inheritance in Java. And for this one, let's start a brand new project by right-clicking in the Package Explorer, selecting New Java Project, and we'll name the entire project Inheritance, and click Finish. Now inside of our Inheritance project, right-click the Source folder and select New Class. We'll create a class and call it Parent and click finish. And now right click the default package, select new class, and create a class called child, and click finish. Now inheritance in object oriented programming is somewhat similar to thinking about inheritance between a parent and a child. For example, a child might inherit their eye color from a parent. The general idea being that a child can inherit some characteristics of their parent. So let's see how that would look in Java. If we go to our parent class, let's give it a variable of type string and call it eye color. And we'll set it equal to brown. And now our goal is to have our child class inherit this eye color from the parent. So how can we do that? Well, if we go over to child, there's a keyword in Java called extends, and you do that at the class level. So we will say public class child, and then type the word extends, and then parent. And now the child class is inheriting the attributes and methods inside the parent class. And to prove to you that's the case, Let's, inside the child class, create a main method by typing main and pressing control spacebar, hitting enter, and we'll create a new instance of child. We'll say child c equals new child. And now we'll do a syso, control spacebar, and we'll print out c dot eye color. And now if we run the application, we'll see that brown is printed out to the console. Now realize that this eye color variable is nowhere to be found inside the child class. But because child now extends parent, it automatically inherits the variables and methods that are inside the parent class. Now if we go back over to parent, we can see that parent doesn't extend anything. But that's not necessarily true. Every class in Java automatically inherits the class called object. And I can prove that to you by opening up the code hinting by pressing control spacebar. And if we look at some of the options here it gives us, there is a method called clone, a method called equals, a method called finalize, hash code, and to string. And if you look to the right it says override method in object. What that means is these methods are coming from the class called object, and essentially we get them for free. Now in later videos we'll go into a bit more detail as to what it means to override a method, but for now I just want you to be familiar with what inheritance is. Now when you're dealing with inheritance there's a one-way relationship between the parent and child, and to see what that means I'm going to draw a little diagram. So let's say this circle is our parent. And now let's say we create our child class over here. We'll call it child. Any of the variables or methods inside parent will be inherited by child. And what that means is that child will inherit all of the functionality of the parent and then you could also define additional functionality inside the child. So for all intents and purposes, you can treat a child as if it were a parent. So what we can do here is move this child inside a parent. And what we have here is called an is a relationship. In other words, a child is also a parent. And this is where the terminology I used might get a little confusing, because in the real world we don't think of it that way. But if you think of it instead as a grouping, it makes more sense. 
For example, what if instead of parent and child, we call these groups mammal and dog? And now the is a relationship is a little more clear because we can say a dog is a mammal. But the relationship is one way because the reverse isn't necessarily true. Now you might be wondering if the is a relationship doesn't really make sense when you're thinking about a parent and a child in the real world, why did I start off using that example? Well, I just thought it would be the gentlest introduction to the idea of inheritance in general using the example of a parent and a child inheriting the eye color from the parent. Now in general, in programming, it's common to hear of the, the base class, this outer class referred to as the parent, and the inner class referred to as the child. There are other terms that are used to describe the relationship as well. For example, this could be referred to as the superclass, and this could be the subclass or this could be the base class, and this could be the derived class. And I thought all of those were a little abstract for our first time around. So now that we have a general idea of what inheritance does and how we might be able to use it, the question you might be asking is why? The why will become more clear as we learn more about inheritance and the things we can do with it. But one thing I can show you right now is what if we create a third class, let's call it subclass, and we can say it extends parent. Now we have two classes extending the same class, and this is one of the major advantages that you get out of using inheritance, and that is code reuse. In other words, you only have this code in one place in your program, but it is used in several other places by several other classes. So if you ever need to make changes, you only need to make that change in one place, and you know exactly where it is. It's inside the parent class that is common to both the subclasses. Now, as one final example, just in case my terminology got you confused, let's create an, a new class entirely different from what we've been doing so far, and let's call it my window. Now, if you've watched my earlier tutorials, one of them was creating a, a window using the JFrame class. Now, if I remember correctly, for that tutorial, we did not use inheritance. But in this one, I'll show you how you could create the window using inheritance. So now we have public class my window. Now we'll make this class extend JFrame. Now, let's create a main method. We'll create a new my window, which we'll call the constructor for this class. And we'll create the constructor by pressing control spacebar and creating the default constructor. And now, remember what we've learned about inheritance. My window extends JFrame. It means my window, for all intents and purposes, is a JFrame. And we can treat it as such, which would mean it automatically inherits all the methods and attributes inside the JFrame class. So if we were to type control spacebar to bring up code hinting, you'll see we have a lot of options all of a sudden. Whereas if we go back to our parent class and press control spacebar, there really aren't very many options at all. So all these extra options are coming from the fact that we're inheriting JFrame. So some of the options are we could set the size. In other words, we're setting the size of our JFrame window. We could say 500 by 500. And we can set the visibility to true. And we can set the title to my window. And now if we run the application, we'll see that the JFrame window pops up. So hopefully that was a gentle introduction to inheritance, and if you don't get it quite yet, don't worry because there's a lot more to learn about inheritance. Thanks for watching.